Welcome back everyone. Today, let's make some business cards. So I have my logo here, and what we're going to do is open up that one website I showed in the last uh, video, vectorizer.ai. Just gonna drag my logo into the website. All right, and we're actually going to crop out part of this since we don't need the uh, edges. And once that makes sense, uh, we're just going to click on OK. And wait for that to process. All right, that actually looks good. So let's download it. And again, you don't really have to make any changes. Just make sure it's an SVG file. And we'll download it. I'll open up Bamboo Studio and just drag it in. Now this will look kind of large, so we'll actually have to shrink it down to a business card size. All right, we'll go to scale and just adjust the size. Right now I turned off uniform scale, since we don't really need uh, it to all change at the same time, so 50 by 90. Alright, now you'll see the outline of my logo here, so we're just going to paint this. And of course, use the fill tool. And we'll just go letter by letter, section by section. Looking good so far, and take care of the outline. All right, and once everything starts to make sense, whoops, let's undo that. We can take a quick look, and if we need to make any fine adjustments, in this case, we're actually going to flip this. face let's flip it and we're actually going to add some text to the back of the card all right so of course pick the font that you like and yeah let's choose elegance and i'm going to shrink down the size since i'm not sure how it's going to look uh, thickness doesn't matter, but in this case, uh, 0.1. It's not exactly flush, but close enough. And we're going to drop a test. Now, if it doesn't show up on that SVG file, you can uncheck surface. And it is showing up. It's kind of small. All right, so let's... Actually, it's upside down, so let's rotate that. And you can also rotate it with the angle... All right, so I'll just drop that down. I'm gonna switch back over to objects process. Let's scroll all the way down. All these different parts are actually parts of the, um, the model. And we're gonna change that text to black. Then it opens. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, so let's go back into the text. that 
over. I'm actually going to make more adjustments to that, but I just want to make sure everything makes sense. And we're actually going to increase the size. We don't need to do anything with angle. But you can see how if I, you know, change it 90 degrees, it will change a bit. And we're actually going to make this lengthwise. So that's our starting point. And make this a little larger. Now I'm going to make a few adjustments, and I will show you on the other side. All right, so this is what I've come up with, and that looks all right. All right, so let's slice that, see how it looks. All right, so we're about 30 minutes, so not too bad. Go back to prepare, and if you right-click, you can actually fill the bed with copies. Maybe a bit of squeeze some more in there, but we'll just leave it like that. And that's how it look on the underside. And to print all six, about two hours. Now what we'll do is I'll show you what this looks like at the end. And since we have different colors, I'm actually going to print a few different types. Okay, so this is a start to finish workflow. If you are making a business card, of course, there's a work for coasters and other things. Uh, the nice part about this is you can adjust it to your needs. Uh, so I just took my logo, but you can take anything, a logo, something you've created yourself, any JPEG file or PNG file, and you can create something nice. I would like to thank everyone for watching. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And again, still a small channel, so I try to get back to everyone. Thank you.